Welcome to the Fram Proving Grounds, where engineers push filters to the extreme to help make sure failure isn't a part of your engine's life. An end disc is an important component of most oil filters. It seals the filtration media at both ends, creating a leak-proof wall that forces the oil to travel through the media. How to achieve that seal and what material to use depends upon the engineering of each filter. Some people think there's a difference between fiber-based end discs and metal end discs. Obviously, the materials are different, but functionally they do the same job. Let's take a look at the Fram ExtraGuard filter that uses a fiber-based end disc. First, pull out the cartridge assembly. As you can see, both ends have a fiber-based end disc. And if you look at it a little more closely, you can see a black plastisol adhesive that seals the fiber end disc to the media. A good advantage of the fiber end disc is it's porous, similar to a filter media. So the adhesive will seal and bond into the media as well as the end disc, giving a very strong bond. The other good point about the fiber end disc, actually they create their own seal. The anodrain bag fits inside the fiber end disc and then the plate fits over that to give a good seal to the uh, cartridge. Inside the filter, you have the retainer with the, uh, the relief valve. Again, the retainer, being metal, seals onto the end disc. And you see an indentation on this filter where the seal has a very good seal between the end disc and the uh, retainer. Next, let's take a look at the Fram Ultra filter that uses a metal end disc. We take this apart, you'll see metal end discs on both ends and you can tell that there's pretty good depth to the, the end disc. And there's a reason for this. We need to create a, a pretty good deep well of adhesive to seal the media on the Fram Ultra. And the reason is that the media is very thick. It also has a screen backing. So the edges aren't quite as precise as a Fram uh, ExtraGuard filter media, which is uh, made of cellulose and synthetic fibers. So there's really no difference between you know, the, the metal end disc used on a Fram, the quality of that, versus the quality of the fiber end disc we use on an extra guard filter. They both carry a layer of adhesive that seals the media to the end disc and makes sure that all that oil goes through your filter media and into the engine. One size doesn't fit all. Engineering, research, and testing drive each Fram filter's design and ultimately, which material to use. Other manufacturers use the same methodology. Start off with a Nissan filter. It's using a fiberboard end disc. Take a look over here at the uh, Toyota filter. It doesn't use any end disc at all. And here in the foreground we have a AC Delco filter. It uses a sonically welded end disc of synthetic material that bonds to the media. In the background here, we have a Mopar filter. The Mopar filter uses a metal end disc. Take a look a little further down. You see a cartridge here. It actually has a rigid plastic end disc. Again, doesn't use any adhesive. It actually thermally bonds this end disc to the filter media. This is another cartridge. Instead of an end disc material, they've actually potted a urethane material around the ends of the media to get the seal, and then use a little fiber piece in the middle to get a good seal to the cartridge. And here at the very far end, we've got a Bentley, with probably a $200,000 vehicle, that is using a fiber end disc. What we've discovered, it doesn't really matter what the end disc material is. The important thing is that we get a good seal between the end disc and the filter media. At Fram, we use all different types of end discs depending on the filter design. The important thing is we get a good seal and we deliver clean oil to the engine. Get more Fram facts at Fram.com.